All right, hello. So tonight, as I said, hello tonight. Um, tonight we're going to look at this thing. I mentioned it beforehand. Uh, we are going to get round to going back to this because I've got things set up now and I can finally test which one of these I broke and if I really did break it. So we will finish with that little uh, controller stuff. But I want to really get back into making lots more things on this channel. And I want to make a little Tetris game. And <laughs> I want to do it the hard way. Uh, so I've got a bunch of these things, uh, which look a lot like these things, which apparently I also have. They look very, very similar, but I think these ones here are a single color. Uh, and this one here is actually a dual color, so it's green and red in theory. have never actually tried it. Uh, they're sort of like reconditioned ones because they've obviously been desoldered off something. Um, I've got a few of them, enough to make a Tetris game, that's for sure. Uh, I was figuring of putting three of them. Uh, I had another one on the desk somewhere. I don't know where it went. Um, but I was going to have three of them like, like oh, here it is. Here's another one. Uh, so I was going to have them like this, lined up like that. And then have like, if I had three, then that would make a reasonable Tetris game. Um, and because it's two colors, well, you could technically have three color things. So you can have uh, a green mixed with red, which I guess is going to give a yellowy color or something. I don't know what red and green will look like on this, but we can find out um, today. Uh, or uh, we can have red and green, or perhaps even some combination, uh, some more subtle combination if we do some... Uh, Flickering effects that you can't see. Um, pulse width modulation. I don't know if that's going to work, but we can try. So anyway, it's going to be like that. But I looked at the official sort of um, uh, Tetris games, like from the original, and they... So this case here, you've got eight going across the bottom if I did it that way. Um, but actually, there's ten going across the bottom in the official ones. And these are five by... These are a bit odd shape. These are five by eight. Um, so it might be better to have, pretend these are the same things, they are very similar. Uh, I'm going to try one of these as well and see what it does. Um, maybe not today though. And so <laughs> is to have like six of them instead and have it like that and then another two over here and that would be enough to make a, a standard Tetris game. Um, possibly, but I think I might, I might just stick with a micro te uh, Tetris game <laughs> for now and then change it around. Wouldn't, it shouldn't take too much work to do that, except they have to reconfigure the display driver that I'm going to have to develop. Now, of course, there are many chips available, ICs available, and things that you can use to make, uh, to control these things. Um, but I want to do it the hard way, so I'm going to try and make them out of the, some of the ICs that we've already been using. Uh, in particular, we're going to be using a 4017, a 74HC595, plus one other one which we're going to be introducing tonight, hopefully. Uh, but first, we've got to test this one out, which is one that, I haven't, that looks the, the easiest to slot in. So, because it's got uh, like solder blobs on it, they don't always, this one fits in, but I almost broke one of the legs off taking it off. Uh, the only thing is, is that you can't really put it on like that because it doesn't fit. And you can't put it that way because that won't work um, because the pins are going in line with the lines. So the only way you can do this, I think, is to test it out, is to put it across. Hold on, we'll put this thing on first. Always pays to put this on so that you have it in the right place. Because if you put it on the other side, then the plus and minus is mixed up. And that's what I'm trying to see. So put like that there. And I put one prototype for something which I've taken this off and it's actually the wrong way around and I had to do it with the, uh, everything with the colors the other way around so in, in that case uh, the red was negative and the blue was positive and so if I ever go back to try and figure out what I was doing with it I'm going to plug it in the wrong way and it's going to explode um, but let's just get this one going the good news is I've got my, my, my area set up with my soldering iron, which is not this desk. Um, I think I've done this a bit too close to here. I kind of given, should have given myself a bit more space, but it's too late, it's in now. So you have a little bit of room uh, to connect up with, anything, the, with these things. So there's like one little hole here. <laughs> so you really, really are quite tight to test this out. So anyway, this one here is by King Bright. Is the, this is, I'm pretty sure, is the uh, the one they were talking about. So I found it on the internet. 
uh, so this was bought, as I said, secondhand off like New Zealand eBay, and so uh, I don't think it's one that you can get anymore. Maybe you can. Um, and so it's hidden away in here. What you need to know, it's all down here. So what do we have to do? We have to provide positive voltage across R, the things that are marked as R, and the things that are marked as R, wait, so that's row column. Now it tells you here, pin, pin thing. So if I supply, so if I understand this correctly, and you have to give it, we're gonna use, we'll use a 10K uh, resistor to current limit things. Um, so that one can go, to make sure this all works, kind of got to, I've got to get some wires out, hold on a second, didn't really, didn't really prep for this, for, oh yes I did, um, we just use some of these, we use the extra long wires, for the, no we won't use the extra long wires, we use the normal size wires, the sensible sized wires, um, so the first thing, Oh, it doesn't matter, does it? Uh, yes, right. So the C things on the top are the, it's, quite, it's like column and row, but really the Cs are the cathodes. Uh, and so if you have a positive voltage on the on an anode going on here, so let's just pick one of these things. It's gonna be quite a hard to, I feel like I, uh, this is gonna take forever to work out. Uh, maybe we're not going to get around to looking at the um, uh, the extra IC that I'm going to use tonight. Um, right, well, I was planning to use with this thing. Uh, so, well, we can do this. We can do this. So 12, 20, 11, 7, and 17 both go to that one. Uh, or has this got like, oh, I'm skipping a few. What's, the, what's this? Oh, it's just, okay, it is skipping a few. Uh, one in ten. So let's just pick uh, pin number two, which is right next to pin number one, which is also another one. So that's handy. And so to work out what that is, I have to look at this picture here, hold it upside down, make sure it's orientated the right way around. There's little little grooves on the side, so you can kind of tell. And it says pin one is. So this is these are pin one to ten along the bottom here. So of course that means I have to go this way. So this is. Uh, I'm going to turn my piece of paper around. This is pin one over here. So I think it's probably that one there. So I'm going to hook that up to my resistor and then I'm going to send. Right. <coughs> and I've got that plugged into the wrong thing. Okay, so now we've got a positive voltage going into the anode of one of these lines. And so every other line on the cathode that goes to ground will make something light up so I'm just going to first off I'm going to link up the ground across the two boards and then I'm going to take another one from here and it would be kind of nice but it's not going to work that way is it so most of the okay no 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 they're all kind of split or spread out and um, and so I would think I'm a bit confused so there's two sets of cathodes, one for the greens and one for the, is that right? I guess so. Yes, there's two sets of cathodes, one for the greens and one for the reds. So 18 and 19 uh, are for C1. So 18, if I'm reading this correctly, 18 is the green one and 19 is the red one. So if I, so <laughs> let's just have a look at my picture again. Uh, 18 and 19 are over here somewhere. So this is probably going to work. <laughs> so if I turn this on, there should be one LED that's come on. And no, that didn't work at all. Why not? Maybe that one's got to go. Maybe it doesn't work. Maybe you need something slightly higher. Um, maybe I'm being slightly ambitious. Um, with 
uh, a 10k resistor there. I'm a little bit over overprotective. Um, well, we could try using one of these things. So a resistor array. I've never used one of these. So I'm assuming that one side is marked and that's the ground. Uh, these are 220 ohm resistor arrays. So I'm just having a look at this. I'm assuming, because the only thing that even looks remotely like a mark is the one over there. So if I put that here, well actually that's the common thing. So I want, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, we'll put that there. I've got it. I know what I'm doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. So we'll put, I should have used the other color. Still not working. Oh, wait, wait, we've got one on. Uh, that wasn't what I was expecting, though. <laughs> not at all. So if I move this one along one, it should go red. So that kind of makes sense. Red, green. And then we can find out what color, if you both, if you turn the red and the green on at the same time, I've kind of got these the, wrong, the wires the wrong way around here. Uh, no, we can't do this. The green wire has to make the green light come on. <laughs> and the red wire, the orange wire, no, I've broken the whole thing. Uh, no, it's going to go to ground for one thing. Not to there. And then this one, we'll add in the red component. And so it goes red. That's as boring as it could be. Why does it not? What have I got? What have I? What have I misunderstood about this whole thing? Have I got this? Actually, they're completely upside down. <laughs> they're complete upside down. All right. So it goes this way. <laughs> this is a boring video. I think I should have tried this before I actually started it. So ten one. Well, I wanted this to be attached to number two. Uh, I have to turn this up the way, this way so that I know, or so I can make an educated guess. That's the same as it was a minute ago. All right, one. How come that's the same thing? One. It's like it's it's like it's mirrored. Hmm. All right. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna stare at the picture one more time. So, if I go, so I'm gonna read this off. And I'm gonna read this off. If I go from pin number two, which I'm pretty sure is going to be uh, that one. Hold on, and I should get something to light up. Okay, that's pin. Okay, this is pin two. And then if I go to pin 18, we're just doing exactly what I just did, but I'm gonna double check. So pin 18, that kind of makes sense. I should better make another light, here we go another line light up but I don't understand why I can't make them both the same color like why does it go to red like that's that's the only red you get like you don't get any green you don't seem to get any green when you plug in the red which when it kind of looks redder no it looks different uh, well, that, that ruins the whole fun, right? Because then... Uh, so the green color source cut are made with gallium phosphate. And the other one's made with gallium phosphate. Oh, gallium, gallium arsenide phosphide. Hmm. I was actually reading all about this kind of stuff in my trying to learn about um, semiconductors. Um, but... Standard, do, 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 do. All right, well, I don't understand. 
at all. So if they both go down the same thing. Maybe the resistors have to be on the cathode side. Would that be the reason? Um, well, let's just try. Uh, how, are we, how are we gonna do this? I'm gonna take this thing out and I'm gonna put it over here. I'm going to, ooh. I'm going to put this one to ground. I'm not entirely sure why I'm doing this. I think it makes sense in my brain. Um, never a good thing. Hey, okay, there we go. It's yellow. So green. <laughs> I have to kind of explain. Why did I think that was going to work? Um, well, because uh, they both go here and they're both connected uh, on the anode side and they're not connected on the cathode side. Um, and so if I put the resistor here, then it's going into both. Um, uh, it's going through, like the, the resistor of going at the anode side, the positive side would be restricting the current going through both. So you're going to get half the current and I'm guessing that the green one doesn't like competing with the red and doesn't produce enough green when you do that. But if you do it on the outside, on the way out, you have two resistors and you get a higher current through both and they're both happy uh, and they're not. And also because the voltage drop is different. So the voltage drop of the red is going to dominate and uh, all the current's going to go through the red and not the green, which is why it wasn't turning on. So we have to do it this way. And I'm kind of wondering if that's going to ruin my day. I've got the funny feeling it is. Hmm. <laughs> all right, well, anyway, what I was going to use, so I don't want to drive this directly off the ICs. Though thinking about it, I'm not too sure why I can't. Uh, oh, there is a reason. There is a reason. Because I want to run more than one of these things off the AC at once. No, I don't know if I need it, but I'm going to try. Where did I put the little bag? Here. All right. So I'm going to try this ULN2003. What's the time? I've got 11 minutes. I don't think I'm going to have enough time to see if this thing works. Um, and also because I'm going to have to think about it because I thought I could... This is a 2803. All right. So this is a Darlington transistor array, if you've ever wanted to know. Uh, which is just basically, uh, it's a nice sort of simple way of interfacing something that's going to require a bit more current to be drawn, to be sunk. So these are going to sink currents. These are, where's my little tool thing gone? I've put it on the other desk, haven't I? That would be just typical. The moment I need it, it's got to be gone. Why can't I just leave it on the desk? Well, I can't spend all day looking for the silly tool, the silly uh, pin squashing tool, so that I can put this on nicely. Uh, so we're just going to do it by hand. Squeeze and squeeze. All right, and hopefully now it fits. It does. Okay. So I have my copy of the electronics cookbook, and this is just because I forgot to print off the data sheet for this. And over here, it's got the pinouts for uh, this. So, where's it got common? Never tried this, so I don't know. Oh, it has got eight. I always thought it only had seven. Uh, all right. Oh no, that must be right. So, looking at this little picture here, which is upside down, which is very clever of me to put this in the wrong way. Oh. Okay, I want to put this in. I've got nine minutes left. Not going to get around to getting this done. So put this the other way around. It's just so that it's it's looking at me the same way the book is looking at me. Uh, that's right, the book is looking at me. It's staring at me with, with weird looking eyes. Why book, why? We just used the really long wires today. Uh, there's a black one. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I should have just stuck them together. Okay. So, ground is going to be the black one. It's going to go... Why am I using the very long wires for? Why didn't somebody stop me before I did it, before I did this? And then 
that one's going to go to the positive rail. Um, I've got this. No, 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 no. I probably just broke it. <laughs> Whoops. Um, whoopsie indeed. Um, indeedly, indeedly do. Um, well, maybe not. Maybe, maybe indeed. So I should just test this out. I have no idea what I'm doing. Alright. So this should be like, this is the base and this is the collector. Yeah, 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 I got it right, I got it right, okay. I know, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. So, I'm going to, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put that one there. Uh, no, honestly, I don't know how to do this. Okay, how high can this be? Why do I have a common and a ground? So that's what I'm a bit lost at. What's the point of that? Well, let's just see what happens if I... No, so the collector goes into there. Uh, it should be right. It should be right. Yeah, okay. So, um, I'm going to just guess what happens. Uh, I'm just going to put the common to, to ground. What's the point? I don't understand. I'm going to, I should have looked this up before I even, even thought about studying this. Um, so they're both going to go to ground because that way at least I can't blow it up. <laughs> I could blow it up by putting this wire across for no reason, but that's not, that's not a big deal. Okay. And then two more wires. This one's going to go. This is where I'm going to blow this IC up. Don't worry, they don't cost much, so it's fine. No, oh, that's not what I wanted. Why does the light come on? <laughs> that's literally a bad, bad sign. Um, well, they take that one off. Hmm. Eek. How does this work? Uh, Alright, I don't know how this works. <laughs> so we're going to stop here. I'm going to come back. I'm going to learn how this thing works. And then I'm going to explain it. And it will make a lot more sense. So this goes to the collector. Uh, that goes to ground. This is the common output. That feels like it should work. But it doesn't. Hmm. Mm, no. Oh, well, first off, I should actually have some kind of current limiting thing, shouldn't I? Another one of these. All right, sorry, I'm going to finish it up and work it out. Thanks for watching. Bye.